because I'm here with my wife. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not able to maneuver how I want to. I can't really just know. Cause she don't play that. Ain't nobody finna pull up. No nigga that nobody don't know us ain't finna come over here. None of your homeboys. This ain't the party house. This ain't none of that. So I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored. I'm sitting up. I didn't watch every movie on there, please. I'm, I'm watching Coco Man and everything. I'm so cool. Coco Man. That happened or whatever. So, you know, the time coming is like, all right, now it's time to get our monitor now. So when I go up there, they cut the monitor off. You know, and I'm thinking like in my mind, like, I'm free now. But this is where everything, this is where the journey really started. Like, I'm thinking, like, oh, I'm off monitor, everything finna be easy, and everything finna, man, it got rough. So, one night I come in the house real late, I, I say I probably came in like 11 at night or something, and um, I got some weed with me. I probably got like two pounds in, in and like a four and a half or some, or some powder or whatever. I'm finna set it off and sit it, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I come in the house, smell like weed, I'm hot. And she like, um, get out. Mm -hmm. I'm like, get out your time, like, get out your time, like, I ain't done that right, like, get out, it's kids here, you know what I'm saying, so I'm not realizing it, I'm 24, I'm 25 now, but I was 24, this was last year, so I done grew so much between these, it's crazy, so she like, um, it's kids here, and I'm like, man, it's kids here, I mean, we good, we finna eat, like, man, she don't care about none of that, she don't care about none of that, I got these, I got hours for free. It's free money. I going for like 21, 22 right now. I'm finna get everything out for 24. I'm finna steep the steep out of this pot. I'm like, I'm finna go. I'm finna go up. You feel me? So she like, nah, she, she nah, nah, nah. So I'm like, you know what? Do what you wanna do with she flush everything. Everything. I got everything. Oh, she flush it. She flush it. Now she like, get a job. So she ordered me my ID. I don't even know about no ID. I ain't know about how to get on social security number. I don't even know how to talk to these people on the phone or no, none of that. So I'm getting on the phone. I'm like, ask her what I'm about to say. Next time I give me your DLB. I'm DLB. <laughs> <laughs> so she like, so she like, the bird. Um, she get on the phone. She. Um, yes, this is Lady Bird, woo, woo. You know, she do it for me, so I get my ID in the mail. When I get an ID, boom, my first ID. I'm like, man, I, I, I left the world when I was 18. I ain't have a car, no man, no man. You know, just run around, just doing running, you know what I mean? So she like, boom, she get my ID, boom, social security come in the mail. She, what I'm supposed to do now? <laughs> she like, we start, like, we about to go apply. You know what I'm saying? So we going to places. Mind you, my whole body, I'm tatted up. I'm telling you, I got my set on my neck everywhere and I can't hide it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Plus, the worst thing I could have ever did in my life. You think of what if I go to the store with my family, fight you over there now, every room now? Like, what I'm gonna do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm with my kids, I'm with my family, but I got it on my neck, what I represent. It's yeah. out of my neck, my face, I heard it. So, what I'm supposed to like, I got to stay on that bit. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, um, we going to different places or whatever. Client denied. Mm -mm. Denied one of car washes, restaurants, it, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere, I'm going everywhere. They deny me just come out of appearance. They not looking on what's on the inside. Right. Cause if you know Travis, you know I'm loving. Mm -hmm. You know, like I give, I give these Burberry shoes on my feet. <laughs> 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 I, you know, I, that's, that's, that's just me though. You know, I'm so loving, I'm caring, but you wouldn't know that if you can't get past my appearance. Yeah, right. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, um, I'm going to all these places that deny me. I'm like, man, why you just let me get it out? We could've been making money. No, 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 no. You gonna find somewhere to work. So I started working for this company called ESI Engineering. My first job I ever had. Never worked a day in my life. We digging 10 feet holes, 30 feet wide every day, man. It's real grown man work. So I get out here, the guy telling me like, um, you know, when I get the job signed up, he's like, man, I'm like, when I can start? He's like, man, you start tomorrow. I'm like, damn. He's like, yo, this grown man work, you gonna be ready? All right, man, we got the truck, huh? He go ahead, hand me, he go, he go shovel, you gonna be ready tomorrow? I'm like, all right. My wife said I got a feel, so she's like, So I go over and and once I get done, you know, it's hard work, but I can do it. I'm, I'm strong as an ox, I'm telling you, I can do it, yeah, I'm yeah. doing it. But it's like, man, I was still like on high security parole, so I got to go to class, 
every every week I gotta go to class three days a week. I got pissed at every week. Every week I gotta beat up. He gotta see my face every week. Home visit every week. Home visit. So I'm not able to even be at work. You know what I mean? So they fired me. I get fired. Damn, she kept it dope. <laughs> <laughs> so she like, so she like, it's all right. You know, I'm working. You know, you watch the kids. I keep house clean. She don't never got to do nothing. While I wasn't working, I did my part though. House clean. She got touch no dishes. Barely got to cook. I wash clothes, fold them, all that clean the floor. My sweet. She don't got to worry about nothing. All she got to do is work. That's it. Get the shit. I make sure she don't got to do nothing else. But it's, it's, it's starting to not make me feel like a man on this. Yeah. I ain't breaking yeah. no yeah. hands. We behind all that. So, yeah. I, I, get to, I, get to, uh, I get to a complication. I get to a complication. I'm in my department complex. Right? I ain't even supposed to be. I, I ain't on the lease. No nothing. She can't even put me on the lease. Right now, then what I'm leaving, I'm not on the lease. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I, right now, I know how to move out, right? Go to work, stay low key. So the apartment complex started like watching us. You feel me? <laughs> so they like, man, it's a mysterious man coming out your apartment. You need to do my release. Oh, you gotta leave. <laughs> what did you do too much? Now we gotta find somewhere else to go. Hey, I'm like, man, I played a game. That was my fault. So boom, I, I find a place, and actually, I started working at a car wash where I met Keith. I was Where's working. That? And I, a car wash did wind up hiring me. And um, I used to get a good money though. Like, I'm talking about, we detailing Aston Martins, Porsches, Lamb. I'm talking about, I, you know, regular trucks, SUVs come through, but I'm talking about some nice, legit stuff come through here. And I used to walk to work probably like five minutes from where I was standing. So, um, I get the uh, whatever. Once, once I, so I started living with a guy that um, actually helped my wife, LLC, like get off the ground. So he, he invited us into his home, so I'm like, cool, he got like five bedroom. He helping me get money, you know what I'm saying? The wow. legit way, you know what I'm saying? So he's like, man, you know, Travis, I see a lot, you got a lot of potential. You know, I see a lot, man, let me help you, let me help your family, man. So I'm like, All right. cool. You know, I'm not the type of person to ask for help and none of that, so I really did appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? So we working, you know, we start growing up now, because his company like really, really, really doing numbers. So we growing up, we growing up, we growing up. So we go to Vegas. I'm a pro. I ain't supposed to be in Vegas. So we go to Vegas. We left Vegas. We rent like four, four, five car. Like we was just out there having fun. And um, when we come back, this girl that was working for the company wound up not sending none of the packages out. Like over like 200 packages. So all these complaints on accounts. We basically open up accounts and ship packages off on whatever. They could be a light bulb, pair, pair of pants, a hat, a shoe, a watch, whatever. Like the warehouse that we were working at got all type of stuff in there, right? So we doing real good for us. I'm like, hey, I'm doing good. Like, yeah, it's going. So the company wound up losing all the accounts. Like, I wound up losing my job, everything. Like, I'm going back down like the ground zero. I'm like, dang. So one night I'm in the shower, I say, man, well, Keith had invited me to the class. I had came home probably like one style already. And um, he invited me, and I'm like, uh, you know what? Cause I see how y'all praise God and I see how y'all really, I ain't never been like this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hey, what make them really, you know, love God like that? Like what make them really feel like something that they can't see is really like right there with them, you know, and they believe it. So I said, you know what? I got in the shower, I was in the shower one night too, showering. I said, you know what God, show me you real. If you want me to praise you, show me you real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so I lost everything. I lost everything within this month. So I lost everything. I just ain't know where I was gonna live last last week. I came to class. I ain't even know where I was gonna live the next day. You know what I'm saying? So we got the guy lived that I was working with. He left. He went to Houston. I stayed in San Antonio. 
So I'm like, I don't know what we're gonna do. My family and my three kids looking at me like, what we finna do? Where they dope? Where they dope at? And so boy, like, so they looking at me like, what we finna do? Man, I'm gonna go to work. So, you know, I came to class and I met Jacob. Thank you, Jacob. And he came and he shook my hand and said, hey, Travis, how you doing? I said, man, you know, I'm doing all right. You know, I'm really just looking for some work right now. He said, you know what? I think I can help you with that. And I've been working with him ever since. And mm -hmm. Jacob, he's, he's my employer right now. Yeah. You know, so everybody has <laughs> Jacob I'm gonna put this on the website. All right. They are actually, they are actually franchise players in my life right now. Both of these guys, right? No problem. Yeah. Both of these guys, you know, they met my family. You know, they come over, they help me so much, and they still help me as I go along and helping me like see something different. You know, like I ain't thinking about it. Problem. You know what I'm saying? Like I understand, like I got the what? physical ability to go wake up in the morning. And, you know, I don't mind this. working. I don't mind sweat. Cause when I come home, my wife cook. Clean, she makes sure everything is basically taken care of. All I gotta do is do the right thing, and that's what I'm focusing on right now. Is doing the right thing, Amen. you know what I mean? Amen. Like, I've been coming closer to God, like, I've been catching myself, like, being alone, and you know. <laughs> let me read. Let me see what it's saying. Let me see what it's saying. Let me read. That was all right. You know, that was all right. You know, like, so I'm kissing. You know, God is really, right now, He's working on my life. And I feel like He really, you know, right now, He's he catching my attention right now. You know, He sent me stuff. Jacob, He sends me stuff. You know, read this. You know, listen to this video. Listen to this guy preach. Do this, you know, read John. Finish John. Did you? Keep going. Keep going. So, and it's just like, you know, I'm so grateful for my family. I'm so grateful for, like, the mindset that God has put in my heart. Like, the way that I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? It's just, like, different. Like, you know, I'm, you know, all you guys look pretty, you know, even if you, you know, you've been in, incarcerated in the system, you too, like, y'all don't, have the appearance so y'all can walk in somewhere and say, hey, I'm Joe. Hey, they did not meet soon when I walked through the door. I go in the grocery store, people are already grabbing their bag and grabbing, but I got my own money. I got bourbon in my feet, these seven hundred dollars pair of shoes. I don't need your purse. I don't need your money. You know what I'm saying? I know how to get my own bread. So they always, if, if you can't get past my appearance, you will never be able to read the paper. You know what I'm saying? You can't judge a book by its cover just because I look like this. I just, I just look like this. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, it's a monster in here. But as long as you don't <laughs> try to bring it up out of me, then we cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, since I've been here, you've been like, you know, in I guess like what they want to say, in charge of the church or whatever. You, I don't know you. I guess you. You know, represent CBC. I don't even know how that goes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how that goes. We 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 don't even